Good morning, one and all. Hopefully you've watched our Wolves preview from last night. If you haven't, why not? Very, very naughty. In the preview, well, we do this for all games. We have a discussion what myself and Gio we would like to see. They're our teams. They're not Moise's teams. Often when we do them, I don't know about you, Gio, I have very little faith that Moise is going to do it and pay any attention to us. But it's what we'd like to see on this occasion for this video because he is under pressure, there's no doubt about that. We're going to have a look at what we think David Moyes will do. Is he going to revert to type? Is he going to be feeling the squeaky bum type? <laughs> Whatever that is. Sounds a bit rude, doesn't it, really? Um, is, is he going to stick? He seems a little bit stubborn at the moment, Gio. So we're going to go through the team, mate. What's, just before we go into the specifics of the team, do you think he's going to change anything for this one? Or do you think he's going to, are we just going to see stubborn Moisey? I think we will see one big change and I think it's half forced on him which will I think it becomes an easy change for him to make a little bit um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see a change of formation as well because obviously last season we beat them at the London Stadium um, 1-0 and we lost 1-0 at the Molyneux so it was hardly entertaining games last season regardless of where we are now in the league um, but we beat them playing Fernals in that hybrid left wing back role, and I thought Fernals was excellent in that game, and he was quite a key part as to why we won the game. I wonder if that play on Moyes' mind, but the only problem is Wolves played with wing backs in that game, and this season they're very much sticking to four at the back. So we've always had success recently against Wolves, bar the one at the Molyneux, where we've matched them up formation, formation, man for man. We've matched them up and we've beaten them. And, you know, Moyes has got quite a good record against Wolves, whether it be Nuno or Bruno Lage. And it's different this time round, I think, because they play four at the back now. But I do wonder if that'll play into sort of Moyes' thinking as to what to do um, going into this one, because the, the three at the back has worked in the past against them and it's worked really well. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's good points, but even that's almost a separate subject as well, because is he overly thinking about Wolves? Because I really do, I feel that now is the time for him to think of himself. I think there's too much respect to other teams. I know I say it a lot, but give them something to think about. And it's so much of this and so much of what rests on the next few games is on what David Moyes does proactively rather than, having um, a big concern about the opposition. I also think, because this this is interesting, I say, I'm, I'm going to go with a four at the back. I'll just tell you that now. Um, and when I say I go, if I go with a four at the back, I'm going to, I think Moyes will go with a four at the back. Kaira is the big one here for me because he can't be blind and oblivious to all of this. He, he can't be have such rose tinted spectacles that he looks at Sue Fowl and he thinks about Sue Fowl. Oh, Sue Fowl's playing well. We know he'll drop Sue Fowl. He's done it before. So if that's the case, what's his options there? As I say, he can't be oblivious to the fact that Kaira's played well in that position, but I don't believe he would be maybe brave enough. Maybe brave's not the right word, but I don't think he'd play Kaira at right wing-back in a wing-back formation. If he's going to play three at the back, I think he'll want to play Cresswell when they're at left centre-back. And again, what's he then do with Kaira? Because he's going to want to play Dawson as well, probably. Azuma just plays, I think he's... a guaranteed starter for us anyway uh, so this is this is really interesting to see what he's going to do there um, I think would you agree he's definitely going to play Fabianski at goalkeeper yeah 100% yeah okay and I, can, and I can understand why for what it's worth I don't think that's yeah. controversial I, I don't have an issue with them starting Fabianski it, it makes sense um, okay so you just, do you think he's going to play three or four at the back uh, I mean, to be fair, even if he does go three at the back, it's almost like a hybrid, isn't it? We switched to four in possession kind of thing. Um, I'm trying, I've, I've written down the team I think he'll go with, and it sort of points to four at the back, to be fair. So I, I agree with you. Let's go with four at the back. Okay, okay. Um, so the because composition. I, I, this is part of my worry. I think Moy sometimes picks personnel rather than formation and then personnel. I think it's almost like, well, he's got to play and he's got to play, therefore I've got to play this formation. But um, I'm probably overthinking it now. Well, well what else can we do? Um, I think he will change it a little bit. I just think there's no way. There's definitely, I know we've mentioned it in other videos, I don't want to spend any time on it, but the, the narrative has definitely changed in the last two weeks. We're now seeing other stories coming out. Um, so he must be feeling the pressure a little bit. He must be aware that there's some pressure. And I'm, I feel he's going to want to try and change his apps. I think he'll play Kara at right back. Yeah. I do. I do. Um, but I also think he'll play Cresswell at left back. Yeah, um, I agree with that. A Creswell one, by the way. I think that's. I'm very confident Creswell will be left back. 
I'm in two minds about the right back one because I think there will be a part of him. And when I say playing Kerr right back, I don't think it's because he wants to play Kerr right back. I think it's because he wants to get Craig Dawson back into the yeah. team and therefore that then moves Kerr right back. Rather than going so far out of form, so I'm going to take him out now. What do I do? I think it's the other way around, which is I need to get Dawson in there. So therefore... The domino effect is Sufal is the one that has to come out and Kara goes right back. And this is the advantage of it, the international break. I know not many people like the Nations League or whatever, but Germany have handed Moyes Kara playing right wing back in 135 minutes of football here, which is, you know, Germany have said, here's your centre back playing right wing back for you to have a look at. And he's performed quite well in 135 minutes at right wing back. So before you can make an excuse, which is perhaps Moyes hasn't seen him playing right wing, right back, right wing back. Well, there's no excuses now. He's seen him for three halves of football playing in that position. I agree. And I also think he's got nowhere to go. If he if he wants to play Dawson, he thinks Dawson's fundamental to what I'm doing in my team. So <laughs> he does that. And then he drops Kera and he plays Sufal at right back and he loses. I think he's got nowhere to go because it doesn't matter if you think Kera's been our best player this season, he's up there, right? He's in the top cup to two or three or whatever. So I think if you do, if you drop someone who's been pretty stinky, so if you retain someone who's been pretty stinky for us and drop arguably your best player this season, you know, you're almost, people will say, oh, well, and, and rightly so, people say he's losing it. He, he can't even, he can't even see what's before him. So I, I that's why I think he plays Kera um, at right back. We, we're both, do we both think that Dawson and Zuma at centre half? Yeah, hundred percent. I think um, my only 50, 50 with the back five and couldn't keep her is, is it Kera? But Dawson centre back, or is it Sufal Kerr centre back? I don't think he'll drop Kerr. Um, it's just a case of who plays out of Dawson in Sufal, which is weird considering it's a right back and a centre back. But I think that's the debate. But I agree. I think we've got the same back five here, which is Fabianski, Kerr, Zuma, Dawson, and Caswell. Quite right. So, right, before we get on to the most interesting dynamic, well, I think so anyway, about the same, which is the midfield. What's he going to do there? This video is sponsored by the Spitch Fantasy Football app, which you can download by clicking that link just underneath this screen here. There's lots of things you can do on the Spitch Fantasy Football app. If you've been paying attention, you already know them all. You can put down money because it is a gambling app, by the way. You've got to be 18 above to play. You can put down money. You can win the big bucks up to £70,000 worth of prizes each and every game week. You can play the free-to-play games, which is £250, £300 as a prize pool for this week's game week. It is really important to say, don't worry if you've missed all the other games. That doesn't matter. All the other game weeks, it starts afresh with a fresh team every week. If you don't want to do any of that, you just want to have a little bit of fun, join myself and Geo in our Hammers Chat Mini League. Loads of you are joining. We thank you very much. Um, then please do. We go head to head every week. I'm going to pop up my team now. I've already seen Geo's. I've looked into the eyes of the beast and I wasn't scared, quite frankly. But Geo will be now if he looks at my team. Scrutinise the team there. Um, that's a really, really good team. That's going to be very hard to beat. Um, I've, I've dropped a couple of players. I've Harry Kane's come out, the Hurricane. Um, Eric Dyer's come out. Um, I don't mean he's, I don't mean always come out. Um, Kulishevsky's come out as well. I, I think Liverpool are going to bounce back uh, this week. I really do. I think Brighton, there's no way they can be the same after Graham Potter. That's my team. Let me know what your team is. Well, actually, don't let me know what your team is. Let's just fight it out. Let's fight it out. And we will see, once the game week starts, how good your team is, how good my team is. And more importantly, how good Geo's team is, because I'm 3-2 up. Anyway, check it out. Link is in the description below. It's free to download. Right, moving on to midfield. What's he going to do? Well, let's just say Declan Rice. That's yeah. a shoe in, right? Yeah. Uh, shoe check. He is, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he really is. Yeah. I'm, 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 it's like the Creswell thing. I'm very confident. And just like the Fabianski thing, I'm very confident it'll be shoe check and Rice in midfield. What, what what is it? I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand because this season he has been our biggest goal threat. Like whether whether you like it or not, he has been statistically. He's been our biggest goal threat, and Moyes trusts him. And I think Moyes has this fear. I mean, to be fair, he wouldn't be wrong. If we didn't have Suchek in some of the games, would we have carried a goal threat? Not really. In some of them, he has been the most likely candidate to score. But I think. That that's fine if it's the striker. I think if your striker is the most likely to score, yeah. that's fine. Leave him in. But I think for centre midfield, I don't really see that as a reason for playing him. I think that's quite... I think if you said to me, why would you play that centre midfielder? And you said, 
he's most likely to score. I would say, well, hang on. So he's, what, is he not very good at tackling or passing yeah. or chance creation or anything? He's, why would you say he's most likely to score a goal? It's a very weird thing to say. An attacking midfielder or somebody that runs into the box like Frank Lampard, certainly. But I don't know. I don't think it's a good enough excuse to keep him in. But I think that's the reason he will play on Saturday evening. Which, which is what it's all about. What do we think Moyes is going to do? I mean, the counter arguments. He scored Mr. last Moyes. season in this fixture. Suchet scored the goal. Yeah. Um, and and, I, and listen, if he plays, I hope he does score a goal. I really do. I mean, we, we could really do with Suchet getting back to form. And um, the point of the matter is, he may well have had the most chances to score. But um, unfortunately, when he plays in the team, everybody else ahead of him gets less chances to score because he can't pass the ball very well. Um, but I agree. He's going. He's going to play Suchet. Um I really hope he surprises us. I really hope we're sort of wrong on on a lot of this, and 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 he pulls out some I don't know, just some innovative um, out the bag. Okay, so Suchek and Rice in there. Um, Bowen starting. So Bowen starting as well. Definitely Bowen starting. I mean, Fornells is starting as well, isn't he? I'm not sure. You know, really? um, this is where I've got like a little bit of a dilemma because he can't ignore Said Ben Rama. He can't. I, I think he's been our best player so far this season. Sure. Hasn't started the last couple of games, which, you know, he didn't start the European game, fine, because we assume it's because he's starting against Everton. Then he doesn't start against Everton. Well, at least play him against in the European game then. But anyway, he comes off the bench against Everton and hits the post. Something, you know, he's, again, the closest to scoring in that game. He can't ignore that. I think he has to put Ben Rama in. Whether he does or not, I'm not sure I'm aware this is a prediction game rather than a, what he should do game. But I'm still thinking he, he can't turn a blind eye to that. He cannot do it. I think um, leaving out the guy that's been your most creative player this season, which he is statistically, he's our most creative player um, from open play, you you can't ignore that. Um, but then the case is then that means Fernals leaves out because do you feel like he's going to play Paqueta? Uh, it's got to be like a pressure to play Paqueta. I, I, I absolutely think he has to, and I reckon that. It's probably killing him to feel. Yeah, because I think he to. wants to do finales and Ben Rama, but he can't yeah. because he's got to put Paqueta in there somewhere. No, you've even, as I say, the narrative has changed over the last few days. He's been reminded through the press um, how much you've spent. You've spent big on a striker. You spent a record signing Brazilian attacking midfielder. He just can't do it. Um, and I, I think there's pressure all over the team to play different players. We've just spoken to Suchet. I think he'd get away with not playing downs because he was nine million or whatever. Um, I don't think he gets away without playing Paqueta. And as you said before, if he plays Paqueta, he probably doesn't play Ben Rama, um, which leaves us probably with, um, I think, with four nails on the left, uh, with Paqueta in the middle, with um, Bowen on the right. And now here's the thing, because he'll want to play Antonio. For what it's worth, before we move on strike, I think he'll go Ben Rama and Paqueta and Bowen. Really, he's, he's, he's shown he'll drop for now in the past. He's shown that. I think he'll think that's the best guy to bring off the bench if you're holding on to a lead or whatever. If uh, for now, short, it's almost been a bit of a super sub for us this yeah. season. Games where we've been struggling, he's come on, he's lit up the pitch a bit. But the games from the start, he's he's been quite slow. I don't mean slow as in he can't run, slow to get into the game and to impact the game that much. So I think he might go Bowen. Paqueta and Ben Rama, actually. I think he's going to go for it. But now we're on to the striker. So we're just green on the left winger. That's all so far. But I agree, he's going to want to play Antonio, but... I don't think he will, for the reasons no. that you pointed out in the preview, which is the international stuff. Uh, it's not like he doesn't have an option there. Uh... Well, this is what I said at the start. He's got a tap-in here, and I think Skamaka is the tap-in. Wait, is if he plays Ben Rama or... Paqueta, he's almost got to justify it to some extent. He's going to have to give yep. his reasons. Whereas Kamaka, he can say, well, Antonio had international duty quite late on in the week and had to come back. We, he's only had one day of training. so And then people go, fair enough. I can't argue with that. I understand that. Fair enough. I think the Skamaka in is a bit of a tap in for him. And I think he'll do it and take advantage of um, that tap in, something we've not been able to do during games. But there's one here for Moyes. Yeah, abs absolutely. Uh, well, there you go. That's our team. Only one sort of discrepancy and sort of 0.5 of a discrepancy at, at right back, maybe, between myself and Gio. Uh, what I do think, I do think there is a massive difference between Fournals at, at left wing 
or Ben Rama at left wing, which has been best right Ben Rama's best position this season. Let's just point that out here. Um, I, I do, and I think that's important because I think there's more of an attacking tone. So if, if you get a point where um where Paqueta has his best game for us, that's all he has to do, have his best game for us. I think, you know, if, if it, Paqueta, seven and a half out of ten, if he can do that for us, then I think it starts to make us buzz a little bit. If Bowen gets back to form and Ben Rama's on form, then I think actually you do see an attacking team. So, um, however, I, I think this is very fine margins. I think if you play four nails there, you're not going to get the same attacking impetus. It sets out the message that we're there to defend. Um, and if, you know, if uh, Paqueta's not quite purring, then it's, it's very small margins between being an attacking team and a, and a defensive team. Um, in that, uh, but listen, Gio, thank you very much uh, for uh, for joining me there. I'm, and I apologise in advance uh, for beating you uh, fantasy football this weekend. I'll just say that uh, you lot can do me a favour because right after I've uploaded this video, I've got to go on an hour and ten minute bus journey. Poor me, boo hoo hoo, to go and pick up my car from the mechanics. So I'll be very interested to read your teams and maybe we can argue uh, when I'm sat on the bus. Tell me who, not your team, by the way. Who do you think David Moyes is going to pick? What do you think, Moisey? Ah, no, David Moyes, should I say, is going to do. We will catch up. We've got loads of stuff coming up this weekend. You can't you can't move for Hammers Chat this weekend. And by the way, let me just get this in there now. Don't join yet. Next month, next month on Patreon, we have got how many videos, Geo? At least 31. At least 31. Don't, don't join yet. Wait until tomorrow. The first. Join tomorrow. That's what I'm saying. 30 days in September. You said next that. month. It's tomorrow. That's what I mean. It's also next month. I'm technically correct. I'm correct on my prediction of the team. I'm correct on my fantasy football team. He don't know what he's talking about. Um, we'll catch you later. 